Hello, it's August, the month when our ministry team encourage us to take a rest from the usual demands of church life. We have less meetings, less groups to run and no major events. I've been thinking about resting, so I'm recording now in the Memorial Garden at St Giles Church the final resting place for many. Those named on the gravestones here are resting in God's everlasting peace, resting from the labours of their lives forever. But what might a resting place be for us? It might be um, a motorway service station or a bench in a park, both places to stay for a short time. For a musician, it might be a certain point in the music where they have to momentarily pause their playing. Or for a snooker player, um, a rest is needed sometimes to balance the cue so they can make the tricky shot. We know from the creation story that rest is a gift from God. On the seventh day, God rested. And that gift is not always easily received um, with the pressures and um, of our lives today. After resting, we hope to feel refreshed or rejuvenated, invigorated, revitalized, ready to carry on our journey on the motorway, in the park, or to resume involvement with church activities. That's rest for our physical selves. But what of our spiritual rest? That rest is only made possible when we make time to pull off the motorway of life, to pause in the park or another quiet place. God invites us to find rest in him and to know his peace. He's waiting to hear our call to spend time with him give him our worries and trust him with our lives. When he is there in our resting, we will feel truly refreshed, rejuvenated, reinvigorated and revitalised by his Holy Spirit. Jesus said, come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I pray that you will find rest in Jesus, in this world and the next.